What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing an upper body workout. We're going to be using light hand weights. So if you have those, go ahead and grab onto them. I'm using three pound dumbbells. Honestly, I would not go any higher than three pounds. That's just my personal to say, you do whatever you want to do. Okay. Uh, we're just going to start off with a couple of deep breaths. So I want you to come right to the center of your mat. You can sit cross-legged. You can go legs out in front of you or whatever feels the best for you in your body. I want you to take a big roll of the shoulders backwards and then take your hands. So they come right to the tops of your legs. We'll start here by taking a big inhale. We're going to fill the belly and the chest up with air, letting the shoulders just kind of naturally float up towards the ears. We'll exhale, drop the shoulders down and back and let it all go. Good, we'll do three more like that. Nice, big inhale. We'll exhale, drop the shoulders down and back, let it go. Good, big inhale. We'll exhale out, let it all go. This will be our last one. Nice, big inhale. And we'll exhale, drop the shoulders down and back, let it all go. Good, from right here, let's go ahead and grab onto one of our weights. We're gonna take that weight into the left hand and then we'll bring our lower body into a mermaid position or a Z translation with the legs. So right leg's gonna go out in front of you. Your left leg is gonna come to your side. You'll bend through both knees. Now, if this position's not comfortable on your hips, you're just gonna go crisscross applesauce or you can take your legs and just kind of stack your knees and your hips, your feet all on top of each other. That's gonna be your second option. Your weight's in your left hand. We're gonna take the right hand to our mat, a little bit forward of the shoulder. So we're kind of leaning over into that right hand. Now from here, we're gonna exhale, extend through the left elbow, push the hand up. We'll inhale, you're gonna squeeze underneath the armpit to bend the elbow and pull right back down. Exhale up, inhale, pull in, right back down. Now this is a move or a move or a series that was inspired by my friend and hopefully yours, good old Maddie Cassidy. She's the best. Pilates instructor in Toronto. She's doing a, an arm series this month on TikTok. And I was like, you know what? I like that move. Let's put it in this workout. Good. We're just going to do four more right here. Four. This is three. Good. We'll go two. And then last one, you're gonna take your left arm down. Now extend the arm all the way out. You're gonna flip your palm in towards the left leg. We'll do a big exhale to lift the left arm up so it comes in line with the shoulder. Inhale, take it right back down. Big exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Now you've probably felt by now, it's a lot of work in the obliques. It's a lot of work in your lats as well, okay? So it's not just shoulders. That's not all we're doing. Everything is working to help you to stabilize the upper body. Good. Let's do four more. Four. Three. This will be two. And last one. Good. We're going to take that left arm, bring it up in line with your shoulder, flip your palm up, slight bend into the elbow. I'm going to scooch over a little bit this way. Now from here, we're going to exhale, reach that left arm up and then kick the left leg out. Inhale. We're going to come back up to center, slight bend at that elbow, flip the palm up, big exhale, reach up and over, kick that left leg out. Inhale, take it right back in. Now I know you guys have seen this move before I do it. What feels like all the time for me but that's because I batch film my videos. <laughs> so I'm like, didn't I just do this the other day? And it literally could have been, you know, three weeks ago for you guys. Anyway, I digress. If this is a little bit too much on your left hip, just ditch the movement in the leg. That's totally fine. Let's do three more. Three. This is two. And then last one. Good. We're going to take everything in. Your weight comes with you. We're going to grab onto our other weight as well. And then just kind of press yourself up out of that mermaid position. We'll sit our hips back to our heels. You've got weights in both hands. We'll tuck our elbows into our rib cage, flip the palms up. From right here, we'll just take an exhale to lift the arms so they come up in line with the shoulders. We'll inhale, bend through the elbows, pull it right back down. Big exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Good. Now this is one that I do with you guys all the time. It's called serve the tray. I like to do this weightless, even weightless. This one's a little bit tricky, but with three pound weights, it feels like I'm holding a hundred pounds in my hands. 
Good. Let's just do four more right here. Four, three, this is two. And last one, we're gonna hold the arms up in line with the shoulders, inhale, open the arms out, and then exhale, squeeze the arms right back in. Inhale out, exhale, squeeze it in. Let's do four more, four, three, two, and last one, we're gonna take the arms in, keep your arms up in line with your shoulders. We'll do a high bicep curl, exhaling to bend the elbows in, pulling the weights towards your forehead. Inhale to release and let it go. Exhale in, inhale, release, let it go. Find length. Good, let's just do four more like this. We'll go four. This is three. two, and then last one, bend the elbows, hold it right there, push those fingertips up to the ceiling. We'll take little tiny pulses, up one inch, down one inch. We're doing 10 total, so this is nine. We'll go eight, can you draw the rib cage in and back? Good, can you pull the belly button in for six? This is five, four, three, two, and last one, arms come all the way down. You're gonna ditch one of those weights, take your opposite weight over into your right hand, and we'll set back up to do that same single arm work on the other side, okay? So when you're ready from right here, left leg's gonna come in front of you, right leg's gonna come right out by your side. We'll take the left hand, you bring it down to your mat so that your hand's forward of your shoulder. We're gonna press down into that left hand and then take the right elbow, tuck it into your rib cage, bring your weight so it's right um, next to your shoulder. We'll just exhale to push that right arm up, inhale to bend into the elbow, pull it right back down. Reach up, pull it down. Just keep breathing through it. I always underestimate upper body workouts, but I honestly think that my upper body's like kind of weak. <laughs> Cause I'm like, oh, three pounds, this is so hard. Good, let's just do four more. Four, it's because I don't give you any break in between. That's why it's hard. Three, two, and last one. We'll take the right arm down. You're gonna extend the elbow out, flip your palm down so it faces down towards your um, right calf. We're gonna exhale, lift that right arm up in line with the shoulder. Inhale, take it right back down. We'll lift and lower, lift, and lower. Now, if you're like me and you have a tendency to hyperextend at the elbow, you're just gonna give me a little bend through that right elbow. We'll do four more. This is four. We'll go three, two, oh, and last one. Take that right arm down, take a deep breath. Okay, you got it, we're right there at the end. We're gonna take that right arm so it comes back up in line with the shoulder, flip the palm up, give me a slight bend in that elbow. From here, we're gonna exhale, reach the right arm up and over as we kick the right leg out. We'll inhale to pull things right back up to seated, right arm comes back out by your side. Big exhale, reach up and over, kick that right leg out. Inhale in, sit up nice and tall. Good. We're not doing a whole lot, right? It's like quick Pilates workouts this month, so it's not a whole lot you're gonna make it through. Let's do four more. Four. We'll go three. This is two. And last one. Good, we're gonna take everything in. You're gonna drop that weight down in front of you. Good news, you've made it to the end. We're just gonna take a couple of stretches right here. So I want you to start off by coming up into a tabletop position, hands down on your mat, knees are gonna go back. We got the shoulders right on top of the wrists, hips right on top of the knees. We'll inhale to dip the belly down, open up the chest, draw the shoulder blades together. We'll exhale, push into the heels of the hands, curve the spine up, look back to the tops of your legs. Let's do two more. Inhale to dip down, open up the chest. 
Big exhale, press away, curve the spine, look back to the tops of your legs. Good, last one. Good. From right here, press your hips all the way back to your heels. Reach those arms long in front of you. Take one last big inhale in. And then exhale out through the mouth. Let it all go. <sighs> good, good, good. When you're ready, go ahead and walk yourself back up to seated. Good news, you made it all the way to the end. Good work today, you guys. Remember, you're awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to. And I will see you in our next video.